Hey, um, I'd like to talk to you about a new fun Stardew Valley challenge that I came up with. So basically, it's like you play, but you're not allowed to do the farming. Or you uh, wait, hold on. Have you ever played Stardew Valley and thought, oh my god, dude, this is too fun. I can't do this anymore. Well, what if we took everything that makes this game interesting and just eviscerated it? That means no farming. That means no fishing. That means no mining. We are just picking things up off the ground. This video is a part two to a video I made a couple months back. I'll link that at the top of the description if you want to check that out first. All right, pray for me. So as a refresher, uh, we can't really play the game very much. We can't mine. We can't fish. We can't farm. Our path to glory here is going to be pigs. To get pigs, though, we need an obscene amount of money. We need 25 copper. Or no, we need 45. We need to make a furnace. We need 45 copper ore, which we're going to get from Clint. Also, a backpack upgrade is probably smart. We'll do that as well. Okay, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to sleep until tomorrow. We're going to pick this up on a Sunday. Foraging is strongest on Sundays. So now it is the last day of spring. We have done absolutely nothing on this file. I'm going to go look at the left side of my farm because there should be some plants just hanging out there that I can grab. Making money is going to be near impossible because of all these dumb limitations that I've placed on myself. Okay, like, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff that we entirely missed. I'm such a fool. Such a buffoon. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I'm going to bin these mixed seeds because I don't know, man. All right, we're going to take a trip around the... I should get my hoe. We're going to take a trip around the map, grab everything we find sick. I can't wait to plant those. Also trash. We're going to rummage through the garbage because we are not above that. Y'all might be absolutely shocked to see this in your inbox because after how little I accomplished over the course of a full in-game season last time, it is frankly incredible that I'm here doing this again. But that video <laughs> did really well, which honestly made me kind of upset. I mean, if, if y'all like it, you know I'm going to deliver. Another thing that we're going to want to do is become pals with Caroline because y'all told me in the comments that you can use foraging seeds to make tea saplings to turn a way bigger profit than what I was doing, which was just sell the plants. So I'm going to have to look out for when Caroline's birthday is because we're going to become pals with her. Good voice crack. I would really like a backpack upgrade. I know money is tight, but for 2000 G, that would be, that's so worth it. We'll do it. Book. I'm going to read it and be super strong. Smart. I meant to say smart. Okay, clearly I need the help. I'm recording this right after three classes, one of which was in the very early morning. So I am going to be an absolute fool with the commentary, which has kind of become an industry standard at this point. All right, Clank. Can I have 25 copper? Or no, I need 45. Oh, God, that's a lot of money. Okay, that's actually less than I thought it would be on the bright side. I thought it would be more expensive. Also, garbage can. Okay, now we're going to hit pure. And anything that we can turn into seeds, we're going to do because that turns a profit. All right, backpack upgrade. Long overdue. Oh, it feels so good. So now we have an extra bar of inventory space. Money. Okay. I don't even know if... Well, I mean, we'll definitely donate the stuff we found. We should have brought our artifacts from home uh, because we can get the rewards from donating and then just sell them. Things are going to change the second we get our first pig, okay? Mark my words. And honestly, we don't even have to hold out until pigs. We can probably get, like cows or something or does that count as farming i don't know man i said no farming at the beginning of this challenge and what i had in mind was no like crops but then that creates the question of like tending for animals gives farming xp but it's not really farming it really makes you think my pup what did i name the dog spoot hello spoot let's bin everything that we can we can part with i'm assuming i still don't have the furnace recipe no i don't so we'll get the recipe for the furnace tomorrow uh clint will come to our doorstep unannounced and unwanted which is pretty much all of my exchanges with clint dude is an absolute menace all right let's do some foraging down south and then i'll cut some wood and then we'll call it a day cutting wood is going to become a lot easier and more enjoyable now that i know how to do animation canceling it lets me swing an axe way faster like look at this look at how fast i can cut down this tree speedy. And that also works for watering. God, that would have made last time so much easier. Considering we had to water like 200 crops every day with a default watering can, uh, which made me want to lie face down on a grill. What a haul! <laughs> I don't much care for this. We are really doing everything we possibly can to make this game not fun, aren't we? Y'all kind of have a point. I constantly whine about like, oh, I'm starting to get burned out on Stardew Valley because I'm playing it so much. And then I pull this shit. It's fine. At least it's it's a new refresh. Refreshing is the absolute most wrong word I could pick. It's a different way to play the game. Our energy is pretty low. And I would say let's get a star drop, but we pretty much can't get one. No, we can go to the fair. We'll do it then. We'll go to the Stardew Valley fair in fall and that'll give us a... A droppy. I'm gonna start calling them droppies now. Hope everyone likes that. Everyone usually likes the things I do. Is does I don't know what the definition of genocide is, but does wood cutting count as that? Alright, that is it for the day. Alright, bin these and we will be oop. 
and we will be entering summer. We're gonna go foraging on every Sunday. I'm gonna look up when, oh, level seven. Wow, look at us go. I'm gonna look up when Caroline's birthday is. Her birthday is, uh, her birthday's winter seven. Your birth is an inconvenience. That honestly might be the nicest thing I've ever said about Caroline. <laughs> oh wait, I already forgot the plan. I'm gonna move my bed right next to the door. We're speed running now. All right, so we'll wake up on Sundays and on the last Sunday of the season, we'll check the left side of our farm for forageable goodies. I'm like a lot more equipped for this challenge now that I've gotten some experience with speedrunning recently. If you haven't seen those videos, they're great. You should watch them. Like, now I know how foraging works. Uh, I'll probably be a lot more efficient overall. The animation canceling is gonna be a huge help. Hopefully we can get through, like, year one. Shut up. If I knew how to do clay farming, that would be an easy way to get some money. Basically, there's, like, a set pattern that you can exploit to get a bunch of clay, and that can sell for a lot. Uh, so I could use that, but I don't know how to uh, do clay. I don't know how to, how to be clay. I don't know how to be clay Thompson. Why the hell did I make two furnaces? Let's reset the day. <laughs> Each furnace costs 20 copper ore and I only bought enough for uh, one furnace because we need 25 for the silo, so. Let's make one furnace. I need rocks. I'm a failure at this, dude. And it begins. Okay, we'll start smelting. We'll get a silo. Everything's fine. Lewis wants his shorts. Uh, I'm good, but thanks for the offer. All right, we're making our foraging loop as per usual. We're gonna have to get Caroline to two hearts, which is insanely inconvenient because she basically lives in her room and is generally awful. A lot of people think I'm too harsh on Caroline. Whatever. She's boring and that's like it. She seems like the kind of person who would consider Scrabble a wild Friday night. Flower. This is good. And we can, if we if we find a spice berry, we can go ahead and donate those to the community center for a free 30 seeds, which is a wondrous trade. Plus, since money is very hard to come by, that would be appreciated. We're very low on stone. We're gonna have to buy all the stone. Shoot, I forgot about that aspect of this. We have to buy all the stone because we can't, like, go to the mines. Okay, let's find out what Caroline likes that is able to be obtained by us. Obviously, never loved stuff because we can't plant any summer spangles because uh, that's farming stupid freaking challenge she likes daffodil we sold all of them sweet pea is a universal like that is incredibly helpful we'll just give her a bunch of sweet peas Ooh, the luau okay if we can get our hands on something that'll that's that'll give a positive response at the luau that's a bunch of free friendship with like a ton of people so let's you know what more research time if we use a chair to glitch into the secret woods we can grab a fern a fiddlehead fern okay and if it is silver quality or better we will get a good response not a best, and I don't think that's even possible with our current constraints, but that's that would give us 60 friendship points with Caroline. We'll just start gifting her stuff. I should look up her schedule. This challenge is a lot more multi-layer than I remember. The only parts of it I remember are the, like, manual labor. Flower! Here's Hat Mouse. We, yeah, even if, even if you did have a hat that I wanted, we really have no financial room. I'm so sorry, Mr. Mouse. If we do get into a really rough spot financially, we can always burn Hat Mouse's... <laughs> Shop down and steal his money. <laughs> He's like, I mean, <laughs> He's always there. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Fight back? He's a mouse. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so tired. Oh, god damn it. I need a new water bottle, dude. I, okay. At least, like, two of my recent streams, I've spilled water all over myself. I just did it again. I'll play through it. It's fine. Let's do some smelting. Pet our plup. Okay. And now I'm gonna sell everything that isn't like a summer forage item, including the sap. The sap is gonna go as well. As far as I remember, the rainbow shells are actually pretty good. Yeah, look at that. 450, because it was a gold quality. Very nice. All right, and we're sleeping until the next Sunday. We've created kind of a routine here. Wait, no, we need the, oh, shice. We need to do like the luau junk. Okay, all right. Oh, this is actually insanely clutch. Normally I'd tell Demetrius to go screw himself, but actually now I'll only tell him to screw himself behind his back after he leaves, because this is super handy. Okay, we can pick between mushrooms and bats. Usually I go with the bats because they drop fruit and that can save you a ton of time and money on the community center. Here though, for the first time, genuinely for the first time in my whole time playing this game, I'm gonna pick the mushrooms. And that's because I think that'll turn a bigger profit, which is really all I'm concerned with. Plus that can come in clutch for us with the luau because i'm sure a lot of the like nice mushrooms uh are are very highly valued at the luau when is the luau is it the 11th or is it the 14th i can never remember it is the 11th okay so we need to figure out our luau plans let's see if there are any mushrooms in our cave probably not yet but if there are that would be oh so wonderful oh there are <gasps> okay this is what we needed chanterelle how how good is that for us okay so that gives us the good response we need we don't even need the like high quality fiddlehead fern plus the rest of these i could just sell and i'll hold on to the 
common mushrooms to save for fall to make seeds out of. Well, while we have some time on our hands, I guess let's just cut wood for a bit. Okay, we got all the copper bars we need for a silo. So now we should be able to get a silo, uh, I guess, like on Sunday. I'm so excited. Everyone's going to love me. They're going to see my little mushroom floating around and be like, you know what? That kid's all right. <laughs> I like that kid. All right. The mushroom has been deposited. Is there anything of interest? A hundred percent not. All right, Lewis, do the only thing you're good for and start the festival. All right, governor. The moment of truth. Ah, that's a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. Mmm, tasty. You all did very well today. Something about your face tells me that that isn't genuine, Lewis. Now, who else wants some soup? I do. How come I don't get to have any... Okay. All right, that should have given us a little bit of friendship with folks. Look, Caroline's like the highest. Maybe because she's the only one we've talked to. <laughs> it's probably it. Yeah, it's literally Caroline, Lewis, and Robin. All right, bedtime. We're going to do our usual foraging loop. That part is nothing new. We're going to build a silo. That's one thing we're going to do today. We're also going to grab our chair so we can clip into the secret woods. And I'll show how to do that when we get there. For those of you who are hopelessly uneducated. Also, we're going to donate summer forage to the community center today. And we're going to plant our first summer seeds. Lots of things are going to happen today. Maybe give Caroline a gift if we can track her down. That might be hard though, cause she is pesky at best. Her little like senior yearbook superlative was probably most likely to do nothing of interest with her life. Ferns, look at the ferns. These sell for a good amount, I think. Anyway, yeah, the way you clip in and out of the secret woods is by, uh, well, it's not really a clip. You just kind of go in there. You bring a chair. If you go to this corner and then put a chair down here, you can right click it to sit on it and then right click it again to get off and use that to bypass this log that you normally need to cut down with a steel axe. So now that gives us access to the wonderful goodies inside. Why am I, why, why would this possibly have anything that I would be interested in? This is a weak Sunday. Wait, I think I got it backwards. I got it backwards. Saturday is the day that's really good for foraging, not Sunday. That's why I'm struggling so much to find stuff. I skipped all the good foraging days. God damn, I am an embarrassment. I was talking so much about how I've like learned about speedrunning when in reality, nah, I haven't. That's right, because foraging resets on like Saturday nights. Shoot, I always mix it up. Okay, so we're screwing ourselves is the gist. All right, then I'm going to cut our little foraging romp short and just go straight to doing our chores. Shoes and socks, man. I'm embarrassed. All right, Caroline, can I access you? Oh, my God. See, this is what I mean. Look at her. She's a freaking robot. Oh, oh, here she comes. Oh, no, she literally just moved one pace. You're kidding. Okay, she's chatting with Abigail. They're having their morning pep talk. How long are y'all gonna chat? Please, I just wanna give Caroline a flower. I've got stuff to do. I've got places to be. Can y'all please hurry it up a little bit? Okay, it has been like three hours. I need to be at Robin's by five. Come on now. Please, please. Oh my God, please. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna snap. Okay, it's one. Now Abigail leaves, but Caroline is still just freaking... Oh, sorry. Okay, I'll get out of here. I'll get out of your way. Please leave your room. What are you even doing? Oh my god. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna ambush her. <laughs> oh goodness, are you sure? Unfortunately, yes. Think positively. Do you ever take a day off? I just did, waiting for your sorry ass to get out of your room. All right, community center, then Robin, then off a cliff. Done. Bundle complete. 30 summer seeds. I'm aware. I'm canceling out of the cutscene. Look at me go. Here I come. Here I come. Look at that. I just saved time. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I saved time and then immediately lost it all. Robin, I would like a silo, please. Right? Look at my dog. <laughs> Action shot. I'll put it right next to my house. Something cool. Knowledge. The coolest thing of all. All right. So now I have 50 summer seeds. I'm going to go ahead and plant and water all of them. I miscounted. I can't believe how insanely hard we threw by sleeping through all the Saturdays being like, I'm going to be a genius and go out on a Sunday. Look at how much time this is going to save. Look at how fast I can water now when I don't screw up horribly. That was terrible. All right. And it's bedtime. Good God. Okay. So giving Caroline gifts is going to be very inconvenient. I forgot to water. Okay. We're going to water every day. We're going to go out on a Saturday, Saturday to forage. Do I need a scarecrow? Can crows attack like forage seeds? I'm just going to make one. I can't. I'm, I don't have level one farming. I forgot. I'm going to sell my ferns. They sold for a modest 224 gold. I just realized that by giving Caroline like one flower and then sleeping for like um, a season, we're probably decaying more friendship than we're getting. Yeah, we're still, we're like literally below Lewis. Robin's heart has fully decayed by now. Maybe let's just ditch the whole Caroline strategy until her birthday. <laughs> I'm honestly going to do that. I don't have the energy to wait for her ass every day. All right. Tomorrow's Saturday, which is a foraging day. Not a Sunday. Not a Sunday. We're going on a Saturday. Also, foraging 
seeds take seven days, so I should be able to plant all the ones I can make. Yeah, okay, they should be good to go today. Demetrius, I really couldn't care less. And then on Saturday the 27th, we'll harvest all the stuff that's grown on the left side of our farm because that stays up the whole season. Also, we can go ahead and buy our barn today. I guess I'll just throw it like right here. Wait, I'm gonna check the bus stop first because the bus stop should be super lucrative. Yeah, look at all that. Look at all that juicy goodness. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more juicy goodness. Oh, I forgot my chair. I should have just left it by the log. I don't know why I took it all the way back home. That was kind of stupid. I'm kind of stupid. This channel's stupid. Why are you still here? You must be interested in the juicy goodness I proposed. I'm cutting down a lot of trees in this file. I'm like the bad guy from Rio 2. Is it Rio 2? With the deforesting guy? Shut up, Sam. I don't care. Okay, well, we'll be in the neighborhood and we can give Caroline something. Well, no, because she hasn't come out until like two. Never mind. I'll grab the other rainbow shell on the way back. Oh my god, look at all this beach forage, dude. Oh my god. Dude, coming here on Saturdays is the move. Knowledge. I'm out of inventory space. There's so much good stuff. Ugh, oh, I'm out of inventory space again. Out of inventory space again. Blast. <laughs> what do I. I'll get rid of the pine cones. I'm never gonna use those. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Knowledge. Oh, I'm getting a little low on energy. Let's get our barn finally i need 150 stone that's actually not that much boom bra okay let's see that's in an inconvenient spot Wow, this whole freaking map is an inconvenient spot, it appears. Yeah, why not? We'll put it right there. All right, and we are, we, we don't have much now in terms of money, but that's okay. We will rise up, rise like the waves will rise up. All right, we got more goodies to plant. 40 more goodies to be precise. Okay, well, let's sell everything that we do not need, which is all of the beach stuff. No offense, beach stuff, but you are unneeded. That's okay. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Never mind, it's 70. We had more stuff in the chest. Okay, 70 to plant. This is starting to feel familiar, isn't it? I see a lot of watering in our future. Luckily, now it won't be as bad. Okay, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we good, we can make a rectangle. No, we can't because of this accursed stump. Well, we can do it if we do this. Okay, I am once again out of energy. <laughs> this sucks, dude. I'm just gonna chew through all my onions. On the bright side, look at this nice little rectangle we've got going here. Perfect. Okay, now I need to water them all. <laughs> this would be good practice because watering is the part of animation canceling that I struggle the most with probably and done crops are ready to go they're not crops they're not crops no they're they're forgeables forgeables okay look at that dude look at that Saturdays at the beach 2k just from that oh we should be checking up on our mushrooms dude I keep forgetting Let me go do that right now before I even water my goodies hi Robin good job good work keep it up I can't believe I'm missing out on mushroom harvests I don't know how long these take to create new mushrooms. Nothing more relaxing than watering this giant field while I get to hear HD sounds of Robin hitting metal. And this watering is just gonna be our routine until Saturday the 27th. Oh, already our watering load has been lightened. I'm gonna sell all the seeds together at the end. So I think that'll be more fun. Thank you, Stardew Valley Tribune. We are impressed with your quick progress. Dog, I've done just about nothing in this world. Okay, tomorrow I'm gonna check the mushroom cave to see if it's only two days, because I think it's probably in that ballpark-ish. Our barn is done! Okay, let's, we can also scythe some hay now. I'm gonna take some right out of the middle so it grows back really fast. Any mushrooms? Yeah, look at that, and it's only been like a couple days. Oh, a purple one. Very, very nice. It's almost time for fall. It's not exciting. I know I'm excited. I can barely contain it. Okay, now what? <laughs> With the barn is my question. I'm sure on Saturday we can afford to start an upgrade, right? How much is it to upgrade a barn? Is it like, I don't know, it probably costs 10K. We need to buy a bunch of stone. It costs 12K. And yeah, we need to buy like 200 stone, which is another like 4K. We need like 16K. Yikes. Okay, so that's a that's like a distant future type beat. Okay, so I guess the mushroom cave produces every two days. Maybe it's every day. Let's check today in case it's every day. You're joshing. Hi, Spoot. Love you. Is it every day? Wow, it's every day? I usually pick the fruits just because they're so convenient with like the community center. And I would, and like, I would forget to check this anyway, but like, I very much see the appeal of the mushrooms. It's great for energy. Friday, oh, and it's raining. So let's go grab our mushrooms and then immediately go to bed. And then we'll do our big Saturday of the 27th. Should be a very big day because we do our giant forging loop. We have to forge on the left side of our farm. We'll grab our mushrooms. We'll try to upgrade our barn. We got some forgeables to harvest. No, we can't upgrade our barn because we won't be able to afford it. So never mind. Eh, actually, we're close. I should have sold some like, well, no, because we need 16K, not 14K. Ooh, the grapes look so cool in the rain with the like rain colors on. How many can we make? 290. Wow. 
So that's 450 summer seeds. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. This game's easy, dude. Okay, let's check the bus stop and then we'll go down south. It looks like our limiting reactant <laughs> is uh, sweet pea. So each one of those we find is a huge profit. It's coming together a lot more. Okay, we're clearly like way more like prepared for this than we were last time. I kind of shot myself in the foot with how I <laughs> responded to the challenge. Oh, another one. Okay, let's see how many more can we make. Another 50. Okay, another Saturday beach day should be insanely lucrative. If you could make this much money just picking shit up off the beach, like eight-year-old me in the middle of his sea shell collecting phase would be absolutely filthy rich. There was like a time period between ages like eight to 10, where if I found anything that wasn't the color brown on the beach, I'd be like, <gasps> And then nab it. Ah, uh, inventory space. Okay, well, I can go ahead and do this. Oh my good god. Okay, we're making two trips. <laughs> There's too much stuff. Okay, one run around the map, and we managed 140 summer seeds. All this ocean stuff, which should sell for a ton. And these little extra bits. And there's even more up north that I'm going to go grab really quick. This should be a very profitable night, ideally. All right bedtime and let's see what we made level 8 forging wow we're getting up there every step towards level 10 is huge because the buff you get for level 10 forging is cracked okay that's that's pretty good this is this is pretty good 36k so we need 16k to get the first barn upgrade and then we're gonna need to upgrade it a second time and it looks like that's gonna cost 31k so we actually have enough right now to get a max barn including the price of buying a bunch of stone can't afford any piggies though um and we need piggies we'll, we'll just keep doing the same same shit different day in fall Damn.